So thanks. So this is an exciting development. The, our partners with the CDC, uh, Baylor College of Medicine, Rice University, and the, of course the Houston Health Department are going to be embarking on a, a trial where we are going to be in advance randomly selecting addresses across the city, and we'll be visiting those, those residences and asking people to participate in this trial. When it, if your home should be selected, a team consisting of a Houston Health Department employee wearing a Better Together t-shirt, along with a paramedic from the Houston Fire Department, will arrive and explain to you that you are one of the ones, your home is one of the ones that was randomly selected to participate in the, in the program. And if that should occur, what you can expect is there will be a simple questionnaire to be filled out, and we would ask that that be filled out for every member of the household. And it's not difficult, and it's pretty straightforward questions. And of course, there will be no questions related to things like social security number, bank accounts, none of those types of things. So if anyone should show up asking that, that is not us. We have no interest in that. Uh, we would never, ever ask any of those questions. But we will ask about if you've had signs and symptoms of COVID, if you've been exposed to anyone that you know that has uh, had COVID, things along those lines, medical COVID-related questions. We will then ask, ask if we can obtain a blood sample from each member of the household, which will be tested for antibodies. And to remind folks what antibodies are, you're, those are part of your immune system that has reacted to a previous infection. And so to remind you, we've talked about this before, is that your immune system knows what is you. And as uh, your body develops as we grow and your immune system matures as a child, it comes to learn what is you, so that it then knows what, whenever something shows up which is not you, it will react against that. So whether it be a virus, a bacteria, a parasite, a foreign body like a stone or a sliver or something, your immune system recognizes that that is not you and, and reacts to it. Now, it takes a little bit of time between when you get, first get infected and when your immune system develops that reaction. And in that reaction, your body will develop antibodies. And so in the acute phase, the antibodies help get rid of the infection, but then it's also sort of like an immune system memory. So that if you get exposed to that again, there will be some antibodies around hopefully to get your immune system uh, jump started. And so that's what we're testing for. That's why this is not a test for an acute infection. This is rather a test to see if sometime in the past you were infected. And that's important to us to get an idea is across the community, how many folks have been infected and to what degree of antibody response they have. Because as we move forward, we need to know this information to get an idea of what the, the uh, virus is doing in our community so we can get ahead of it and control it. So this is what we're gonna be asking. One is to fill out the questionnaire and number two, is for a, a blood sample. You will get the results of your test. It'll take about two weeks, but you'll get the results of your blood test. We'll tell you whether or not they found antibodies in your blood. We will come back again in January, as the mayor said, and do this again. Again, there will be a random uh, uh, selection of addresses across the community. But in addition, folks who test positive the first time, we are gonna ask you if you will participate with us again the second time because we want to be able to see and compare what your antibodies um, are doing as, they, as uh, time goes on. Um, as I said, this is voluntary. We're doing it in relation with uh, Rice University, the Kinder Institute, the CDC, and Baylor College of Medicine. And we really ask people to participate with this. It's uh, obviously free, but um, it's going to really help us find out how this virus is behaving in the community and give us the intelligence, the, the information, the insight into what the virus is doing in our community so we can help get ahead of it and therefore get us all back on track.